Welcome to Bayside Antiques. Linda? You can't just show up here. Did you think I wouldn't notice that you raised the price of the house? I'm trying to get a good return. Drop the price of the house. I'm not going to ask you again. Do you really want to live in the house that you and your ex-husband bought together? No. You sell the house, take half the money, your resume, heads will turn. Why am I not turning heads now? You turn one head. So are you like a design reviewer? I'm a private investigator. Are you following me? You want men to look at you. I know your type. I don't feel safe, detective. We're doing everything we can. What if I hire a private investigator? Frankly, they do more to interfere than they actually do to help. So you've got a stalker. Is there anything you can do? This is my job. I just took a little tumble with your stalker, but I'm pretty sure you won't be seeing him again. This isn't a good time, Eric. Who the hell are you? That's none of your business. Get out. You're gonna make me. <gasps> I came to apologize. Any chance you'll let me take you to dinner? Do you love what you do? It's a living. I'm good at it. So you're not so good at keeping yourself out of harm's way? Sometimes there's people worth putting yourself in harm's way for. I strongly recommend that you do not get involved with Mr. Sordo. Why does Groves have a problem with you? Our paths have crossed. And what do you know about him? I know he's dangerous. Are you accusing him of this too? He sees your ex-husband as a threat. At least you know he's not going to hurt you. How do I know that? He could be a psychopath. <laughs> Eric? It wasn't me, Lynn. It was him. I told you. I knew how to win. Oh.